And welcome to The Bottom Line, where we unpack some of the main business and economic stories of the day. Whether you like it or not, AI is making its way into our lives and we need to get on with it. Some of us are on board with it, while some of us are apprehensive. But the global race is truly on, and despite some good ideas coming out of Poland, the country is behind the curve. I'm joined today by Lech C. Krul, Chief Technology Officer for Molecular Worldwide, to tell us more about Poland's progress and the global AI trajectory for the next few years. Hello, and thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, so I wanted to start with, uh, let's say, 11 Labs. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start with the Polish story. So this is the synthetic voice technology startup founded by Maciej Staniszewski and Piotr D uh, Dąbkowski. And it encapsulates the essence of Polish creativity and entrepreneurship. Uh, could this Polish startup uh, really get the AI industry going here? And can you tell us why they're seeking that additional funding in the US and perhaps not seeking it in other Western European countries, perhaps? Well, the idea is about utilizing AI. Yeah? So those guys found a great way how to make AI very useful. And it's very easy to explain how it works. You have a voice, you clone it, or you create your synthetic one, and you are using it for social media or for prompting or for any other audio uh, recording. So uh, I believe at the moment their main task is to grow fast. Because you know the business is actually judged on how fast it grows, how the revenue is growing. So all the systems require first tremendous uh, computational power, that's the first thing, and the second thing, the ideas, how to actually develop the software. So they are spending their money on processing and they are spending their money on uh, creating a new features based on the technology they have. So they went to USA because USA is the mecca of investment in an AI. So uh, there's USA first and nothing really which matters at the moment. Yeah? So this is the, uh, I would say, the most important market in terms of the investments of, in AI. Okay, so Western Europe really doesn't stand anywhere close. In that tries, sense. but not even close, That's just, it's my, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there's a huge factor of risk taking. Uh, American market is prepared for taking risks. You're, you're betting, you're betting on, you know, that your AI system will actually uh, deliver return. Mm -hmm. It's seldom, it is very seldom it does. Yeah? So you have to agree that you lost your money. Uh, and this is rather approach in the US rather than in Europe. So uh, we are more skeptical, we would like to take a look from the left, from right, and then it's too late. So the key to developing AI in Poland is definitely more R&D. Everywhere on the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but in Poland, because we're really hoping for more focused investment in 2025. There's been a lot of talk about that. Um, and what does Poland need to really get that investment in R&D going? Uh, I mean, Eleven Labs uh, is hoping to is setting up an R&D center and is hoping to make that office the EU headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that... Staniszewski and Dąbkowski will be able to raise those standards and bring something new to the market here in Poland? Well, they are uh, renowned worldwide. Well, we are using, and this year I was uh, in the jury of one of the um, advertising festivals and uh, the campaign which was nominated and won awards actually used this, uh, this tools. Yeah, so. Uh, they achieved their goal, but you know, the, the, we have to understand one, one thing. Each system, each AI system is one click away from you. So it doesn't really matter, is it Poland, is it Germany, or is it United States? As long as this is not prevented, like some countries are blocking access, then it doesn't really matter where it is located. Uh, the problem is that we would like to see uh, more AIs uh, from Poland, more great solutions from Poland, and this is rather related to financing and uh, I would say organizational things, because you know, as I, as I told just a minute ago, you have to assume that you will not get the money back. Yeah? So if you are having the government funds, then you have to be prepared that the money will be lost. And this is somehow incompatible with our system at the moment. So this is, you, you asked, you know, what should we do? We should prepare enormous amount of money for that and five billions which we already have is not enough mm -hmm. and assume it's lost. 
And maybe, maybe one or two of such crazy ideas will just get attraction and will be famous as 11 Labs or even maybe as OpenAI because, you know, recently China suddenly popped up out of nowhere and created the solution which is better than OpenAI. At least they are claiming that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, you can see that this is mm, not only the power, not only the infrastructure, but this is the idea. So why not? We have the great capacity in terms of the AI people, AI technicians, uh, but we don't simply have the money. So when you have a company and you have to generate profit, uh, then you do not have enough money for investment. Someone have to back you up, someone have to help you. And maybe that's the answer why Eleven Labs is in the US, not in Poland. But we want to attract that investment and have it stay in Poland. Mm. I'm not sure if I fully understand what you mean stay in Poland because, you know, every time you will create something, it will go outside worldwide. So you know, we, we may have it as a Polish entity registered here, yeah, but anyway, it will be worldwide. AI, if you have AI solution, it's worldwide. Yeah? It is originated in Poland or developed in Poland or maybe the headquarters is located in Poland, but we are talking about worldwide and uh, with the new internet world and AI, what we should actually forget about, you know, which country does it come from? We have China solution now. Now, I wanted to move on to DeepSeek uh, and its impact on the development of the AI industry. I wanted to uh, uh, bring a quote from uh, an economic journalist, Adam Button. Uh, he says, imagine we're back in 2017 and the iPhone was just released. It was selling at $999 and Apple was crushing sales and building a wide moat around its ecosystem. Now imagine just days later, another company introduced a phone and platform that was equal in every way, if not better, and the price was just $30. Do you think that's a good way of describing what we see with DeepSeek? Well, I see it differently. Okay. Maybe that's the answer. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would rather compare to the situation that uh, someone would say, but they have a cheaper display, cheaper LED. Yeah, suddenly, much cheaper. And equally as good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my perspective is, you know, maybe I use the case of NVIDIA, which uh, share, uh, shares price dropped from 150 to 120 at the moment when, when we are recording this thing. So suddenly, like, you know, stone. Plummets, yeah. Yeah, but in my opinion, the AI, the, the NVIDIA power is not really in AI models. It's one side is the chips, you know, which, which they are producing, but other one, which is, I believe, even more important, is the ecosystem. Because NVIDIA created an enormously powerful ecosystem of using and creating AI. And it doesn't really matter because if they will need, they will connect with China system and reuse it on their own purposes and bring even bigger power and better solutions. So uh, I don't believe that such an entity like one better LLM model can actually reshape the market. In my opinion, it's just the overreaction and panic and misinterpreting the facts. Sorry, maybe I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. OK, uh, so just elaborating a little bit on what uh, we see today. So we see the AI market has been shaken up and mm -hmm. the tech stocks have tumbled. Uh, what is the significance then of what we see in the weeks and the months to come? Do you think this is just a blip? Well, I hope this is awakening call. Mm -hmm. uh, because it actually proves one of the points which is clearly visible that AI development is not the bigger stick, bigger power. These are ideas. So you may have uh, weaker computers, weaker processor, weaker supply of money, but you still can overrun your competitors. And if you will take a look at the history of the AI inventions, they, from time to time, someone came up with the great idea how to do something differently and much better. OpenAI is an example of such a things, but I remember the times because <laughs> I was interested in AI, let's say, 30 years ago, and it wasn't popular. Yeah? And it was a time when uh, neural networks were, uh, we believed that it is useless. Uh, suddenly we realized it is not. But someone came up with the idea how to do it differently and proved amazing power. And, you know, coming back to the wake-up call, I believe we should think how to do things differently, not just build bigger 
staff. So when you say we, does that suggest that there's hope for Poland, that maybe Poland will be able to outsmart others in the I meant others in the everybody industry? who is involved in AI. I, you know, it, again, for me, it doesn't matter which countries, of course. Uh, and, well, on a national note, I believe that Poland is a very good place for that, because actually we are not very much uh, corporate oriented. Mm. We have our own opinions always, usually, let's say, <laughs> even more than we should. Yeah, yes. yeah. So uh, we are trying to do things differently because we believe that we know better, which is most times. That's a good not thing sometimes. Right, <laughs> but when you have lots of people trying to do something differently, suddenly some of them are right. And most probably this is what happened with the Chinese uh, deep seek. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lech Krul, thank you so much for thank joining you. us in the studio. It's been great to have you. Thank you very much. And we were joined by Lech C. Krul from Molecular Worldwide. Thanks so much for joining us today. I was your host, Marie Cato. Join us every weekday for Business Arena at 5 p.m. CET on TVP World. And for the latest in regional business, follow us on X and on tvpworld.com. And for more news and features, stay with us on TVP World. Goodbye.